Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So happy holidays and happy Eastern to everyone. Let's dive straight into the content, my friends, because currently Bitcoin is falling off the cliffs from this ascending triangle that we had yesterday. And I told you, my friends, that I was closing all my trades yesterday because usually during holidays or during the weekend, we often see big volatilities uh, during this time. And that's why I wanted just to be closing all trades because I was expecting something like this that we maybe just have some dumps and then come back up towards uh, where we closed on Friday the CMEs uh, which is at 60k and currently yeah we have seen a little dump here and in my opinion we will most likely retrace back up here towards 60k as soon as the CMEs are starting again so what I'm doing right now is I'm scaling in some long positions uh, because we got already a confirmed three hour buy signal the only problem is that currently we are in a downtrend in the lower time frames so we are quite oversold and of course now trending below the EMA ribbons in the one hour and also four hour time frame but overall I'm expecting here a quite fast recovery towards 60k and then potentially also go way higher because keep in mind that most of the times it is easier to watch at the CME chart because here we are excluding this weekend data so we are excluding this uh, price action that often we see during holidays and weekends when we have uh, less liquidity and higher volatility sometimes and if we just have a look here into the CME chart you can see that we're still very bullish and uh, we closed here at 60k and we should expect here like we were also expecting last week here Big continuations to the upside towards new all-time highs and if we have a look now into the spot chart you can see that currently we are seeing this little dump and here in the daily time frame you can also see that this dump yesterday caused a sell signal which usually means that we just have a retracement during an uptrend down towards the 20 daily moving average or maybe even towards the 50 daily moving average once it is confirmed and this is exactly what we have seen we just came straight back down here towards the 20 daily moving average and so far we're seeing a bounce so important is also that here in the spot chart we're not starting to close uh, daily candles below the 20 daily moving average here at $56,700 like that uh, we can be sure that we will go back in an uptrend pretty soon and we're going to see a bounce here so what we're seeing right now of course is that we are having now this nine daily moving average at $57,700 as a resistance but I think this resistance will be uh, very soon uh, be broken so only if in the next couple of days we are getting now this nine daily moving average as a resistance also once the CMEs are opening again then maybe yes we could see continuation to the downside in that case maybe down towards the 50 daily moving average here at around $54,000 because keep in mind that we still have a little CME gap opened down at $54,400 so it is possible that we maybe go down to close that CME gap if we continue to drop lower here and lose the 20 daily moving average here at $56,600 as a support. It is possible that we even could drop down to this level here but this wouldn't change anything on our daily trend here which is still shifted to the upside so if you want to trade the safe way then maybe wait until we are getting here another buy signal in the daily time frame like we had over here otherwise if you want to trade a little bit more risky especially if you are trading now on this bybit challenge that is going on for seven days or on this uh, femex challenge that is still also going on for the next couple of days then make sure that you're taking this trade because i think right now we have a good um, buy opportunity and long opportunity since we have a confirmed buy signal in the three hour time frame it doesn't mean that we have to go now straight back up into an uptrend but at least we should expect here a breather towards fifty eight thousand six hundred dollar and maybe then also go back in an uptrend here latest when the cmes are starting again because in my opinion we should be still very bullish for the month of april and may and since the cmes are looking very very bullish and of course also the spot chart even though we had now here this pullback i think that very very soon we are back on track and we should expect here 
new all-time highs probably in this coming week and i most likely only gonna close my long positions if during this coming week or latest in the week after we are not getting a new all-time high my friends because we should expect here very soon new all-time highs incoming otherwise this consolidation phase here could be also ending in a very bad way because we have several warning signs of course for example like the p cycle top indicator which will trigger very very soon and if we are not seeing here a positive breakout to the upside towards new all-time highs then this consolidation phase that we have seen so far was just distribution and afterwards we're gonna see the price dumping here a lot towards important moving averages like the 20 weekly or the 200 daily moving average so even though we are looking extremely bullish my friends we never should forget about the worst case scenario about the bearish scenario that we still could also here fall off the cliffs to the downside from this bullish pattern that we are in here in this ascending triangle same like we also had here in the lower time frame like this one over here in the four hour so even though everything is pointing out that we're gonna see very soon new all-time highs we also have to keep an eye on the bearish scenario because if here we're gonna lose the main support that we currently have here at $54,000 we could fall quite a lot here towards our main supports at the 20 weekly and 200 daily moving average and of course those moving averages we also have to update uh, next week since on the spot chart the weekly candle is still in progress and we have to wait until Monday to then update of course the new level of the 20 weekly moving average which in my opinion is a very very important moving average for our bull market that we are in right now so currently it's here at $38,600 but on Monday it will be a bit higher and that of course is bullish for the long term and usually Bitcoin always latest at the 20 weekly moving average is having a nice bounce to the upside even for the worst case scenario during a bull market and that's why I think even if we would fall off the cliffs here so if we would lose this $54,000 support we could easily go down here towards the 20 weekly moving average and that of course would be like a 10% drop in the price and that of course would be a 10 to 20 percent drop of the price and it would hurt a lot my friends if we would fall again down towards this price level because in that case maybe we have to think about again that we have some cme gaps also below our current price level and that of course could be then a warning sign that we maybe have to come down here to fill the CME gaps that we still have here for example at $24,000 and also this small one over here at around $19,000 so then of course the question comes up again are we maybe going down to fill those gaps before we're gonna see new all-time highs here and of course also our cycle top for this bull market this is I think what a lot of people will think about once we are starting to crash here if we're gonna lose the main support of around $54,000 and that's why also we have always to keep a very close eye what are the bearish scenarios and what are the bearish targets if here we would start to fall below our main supports but everything is still looking bullish my friends and as I told you this is just weekend action this is just holiday action and that's why it is sometimes very risky to keep alive a uh, over leveraged trade during a weekend and since we are still looking very bullish and here we should expect continuations to the upside I'm taking now these small longs here because I want to ride it up if here we're gonna see new all-time highs because in my opinion if we're gonna create here new all-time highs this is going to be a very explosive move to the upside the only thing that I want to see in these next coming weeks is that we're gonna create new all-time highs my friends and that we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside because otherwise there could be really the big danger that this is already here a local top and we're gonna start maybe a, a small bear market right now so then we can accumulate again more Bitcoin at a way cheaper price and then finally towards the end of the year we're gonna have our big parabolic rise up way above 100k so that in my opinion could be a bearish scenario that we first are entering right now if this was a local top here at $62,000 that we could see a little bear market incoming here if we're gonna lose this main support of $54,000 right now 
because if we are not able here to create a new all-time high so if we are not seeing here a big breakout to the upside in these next coming weeks that will mean that we most likely gonna break out here to the downside and if we're gonna lose this main support trend line that we are building up here at around $54,000 right now that we eventually are topping out for now then we're gonna see a little bear market and we're gonna start head towards 100k and higher more towards the end of the year and not right now so this coming up breakout from this ascending triangle in my opinion will decide if in the next coming weeks and months we will see a little bear market or if we are going completely parabolic here to the upside towards new all-time highs because also keep in mind that this p cycle top indicator is coming very very close to the price action and we cannot just disregard this fact that this p cycle moving average is coming very very close to us because always in the past when this indicator was flashing a cycle top we were very very close to this cycle top even though it was not always perfect but in my opinion once the signal is flashing something will happen for sure so this in my opinion is a warning sign my friends that this indicator is about to flash and also if we compare where we are right now in this logarithmic growth curves this is the indicator without the zones so here you can see that for now we came very very close to this Fibonacci retracement here which currently is at around $66,700 and this price level is also coinciding with this green trend line which previously was acting as a support and right now it could be acting as a new resistance so that's why in my opinion we could see here a big breakout to the upside but we're gonna have to see what will happen once we are reaching this price level here because it could be still resistance and once this $67,000 dollars is broken the next target would be up here at around eighty thousand dollars and of course the top is right here at around one hundred and four thousand dollars so this area here between eighty thousand and one hundred thousand dollars is this red zone where in my opinion things could start to look very hot and maybe here we should start to take out some profits right now because usually bitcoin always when we reach these levels up here had a cycle top and afterwards we started a correction also in 2013 so if we go back in time you can see that first year in 2017 we had our cycle top exactly at the top of this growth curve so right when we touched here the top of these growth curves you can see that we had the all-time high and afterwards we started this big bear market and if we go further back in time in 2013 here exactly the same thing once we touched here the top we started this bear market and during this year we had an early cycle top here at around 260 dollars and you can see that this happened right here at this fibonacci retracement here so the third line below the top of this growth curve and if we go now back to the actual price action you can see that also right now we are approaching this third line below the top of this growth curve so that's why in my opinion this $67,000 will be tested and here then we're gonna see if we are able to see continuation to the upside or not because if here we are getting heavily rejected at this previous support trend line and now it will be confirmed as a new resistance and also we are touching exactly the same line like in 2013 three lines below the growth curve top and at the same time also the p cycle indicator is flashing to sell here at around sixty-seven thousand dollars. then this could be maybe here a local top with a lot of confirmations and signs that this could be this local top before we are entering maybe into a small bear market then accumulate again more bitcoin and then start for our big parabolic move towards levels way above 100k and that would mean that we could see here a breakout to the upside but we will not go higher than $67,000 so my theory is that here at $67,000 we could see a potential local top here but if we are able to to push higher so if we are able within the next one or two weeks to push higher than sixty seven thousand dollars then we should be seeing the price going completely parabolic here towards 80k potentially even towards 100k and then of course we're gonna have again to see if we are able to see continuations to the upside or maybe here we are getting afterwards a bigger take profit or a bigger sell-off because sooner or later there will be a huge correction my friends and then of course this is the time 
that we can accumulate again more Bitcoin with the profits that we are taking on the way here to the upside. So all eyes in my opinion right now are here at $67,000. We need to break this important resistance here if we're going to see here a breakout to the upside. Once we are above then I think we're going to see parabolic moves towards those levels up here but otherwise if here we are getting rejected heavily this could be this local top for now my friends here at $67,000 thousand dollars so let me know in the comment section what are you thinking my friends is it possible that this could be a local top and afterwards we are maybe coming down for a huge correction also to close all the cme gaps that we still have below of us to maybe then bounce at the 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average and then start our big parabolic bull run towards 100k and higher what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section and now let's have a look also quickly into ethereum because ethereum of course right now is also following bitcoin even though of course it's leading right now because here we are creating already new all-time highs and as you can see we dropped below the old all-time high here of 2045 dollars but it looks like that also here right now we are seeing already a bounce and we are fighting again this all-time high here of 2045 dollars and same thing like on bitcoin in my opinion as soon as the traditional markets are opening again also here we're gonna see again confirmation that this is new support and then we're gonna head towards new all-time highs because our target here of around 2500 dollars is not yet met and i'm also very bullish here for ethereum and i'm expecting here also very very soon that we are trading again in new all-time high territory so i'm very bullish for ethereum as well my friends i think as soon as bitcoin is recovering up here again ethereum will for sure follow and that's why make sure that you're ready to trade this over on bybit and femex not because you can do of course a lot of gains if you're just trading but also because right now we have on femex and bybit these special challenges where you can get even more money if you are trading here successfully and if you need all kind of informations and links where to sign up to those trading events and of course also to create a free Bybit and Femex account then use my links down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some bonus and also you support the channel and if you want to do some passive money with your Bitcoin but you don't want to trade yourself with leverage then try out PrimeXPT because here we have this special co-vesting feature where you can easily just copy trade other successful traders and like this also you can multiply your Bitcoin portfolio of course and also check out all the other links down below here they are very useful and also you find the links to my other channels for example for Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and so on so you are very well Welcome to join also my other channels and if you're completely new in the crypto space first make sure that you have a Binance account Coinbase account and also a Swissborg account ready because with my sign up links you will get some extra money and some extra cash if you sign up with my invitation links and also here you can get some free cryptos as well those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using and there it is very very easy to buy and sell cryptos uh, with fiat of course and a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on discord if you want to join our crypto community here on discord then make sure to join by click this invitation link that you find here in the description once you have clicked on this invitation link you have to go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and if you also want to get access to my own indicator here which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin then you have to send me a small message directly here on discord because a small donation is needed in order to get access to the live stream indicator otherwise you can also just get here a membership on youtube like this you also have free access to the trading chat and of course also to the indicator here on discord so with that said guys gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one happy eastern and happy holidays bye